All right, Cancer. So you've got a beautiful card here, but then perfection kind of throws me off a little bit. Now, this week, Cancer from Lay Vampire, you pulled Creator, Catalyst, Maker, Mother, Father. This card for me very much is the Empress. And then you have Perfection from Chakra Wisdom. Now, the Blessing with Creator. This is talking about how you are bringing to life a new creation here. And now it's time for you to start sharing that. It says, it is time in short to be a maker, a parent, a mature being. Now, working with this card says you have a creative spirit and the ability to bring to life a wonderful new project. This will bring you wonderful responsibilities and opportunities. Don't hesitate or delay. This is part of your sacred purpose. But basically, some of you are looking for perfection in what you're creating. Now, perfection, the inspiration says, are you being too hard on yourself and consequently on others? Begin to look for what's right and good in your world and you will see it. The personal question says, where am I presently focusing? Knowing what's right and telling others about it may not be the best way of being. The key ideas are alienating others, feeling alienated, seeking perfection, deeply desiring love and transformation ahead. The very first quote for this one says, I have the same high standards for myself as I have for others. So you have to be careful here, you know, especially being in the creative process, right? Creation is not always going to be perfect. You know, if you make mistakes, big deal. But, you know, just be careful with perfection because, again, you don't want to be too hard on yourself. But still, you know, with creator, it's a beautiful card. All right, Cancer, here we go. Here is the energy coming through. Jeez. Judgment. So, oh man, that card. Now, judgment is not a bad thing. <clears throat> judgment, you know, I don't know. I guess for me looking at it, I'm like, man, I don't want to go through the review, you know. But it is about making amends with the past and moving on. It's talking about second chances. It's very much about rebirth. Now, you know, for some of you, again, you, you're looking at perfection. You have to be careful about the judgment that you're passing. And not only that, but, you know, how you let the judgment of others affect you. But we'll see how judgment's playing out here. Now, in the past, the Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you're looking at judgment, too, it is also about hearing the calling. And I think that, you know, that's great to see right now. But in the past, with the Seven of Cups, you know, I, I, no clarity. I don't think that it has anything to do with fantasy land. You know, I feel more, especially with the, this deck, I feel like a lot of options and not knowing what the best choice is, basically. You know, if I was looking at the Crystal Visions deck, I'd be like, oh yeah, riding a dragon over a rainbow, come on now, right? Fantasy land. But I don't feel like that's the case here. I just think for some of you, you don't know what the best option is, especially in moving forward here with judgment being front and center. Oh boy. Now in the present, the three of swords. This to me is saying that you already know what this is about. The three of swords, heartbreak, separation, betrayal, just yuck. But with judgment being there, it is also talking about getting to the heart of the matter and understanding why you are going through this kind of pain. My goodness, Cancer. You know, it, it, because again, making amends, making amends for the past and moving forward. And that's like what you're trying to do here. You know, and in the past, you may not have known the best way to go. Very nice. Very, very nice. So future conditions, the star. So you do some healing and there is a rebirth for you. I, you know, I feel better about it, but then at the same time, you know, like I feel, I feel cold, you know, cold and devoid of like, you know, emotional feeling behind this a little bit, but the star in future conditions is saying that you're definitely going through healing and that healing is going to lead right into a rebirth for some of you. And that's good to see it coming out of heartbreak for sure. But, you know, this isn't something that you're going to have to look forward to, right? It's, it's done with. Like, you know, it's now. It's right now. So you know what the situation is. 
And I, I don't know, looking at the Seven of Cups to me, especially with judgment, I have a feeling that this is something that you've been trying to work through for a while. You know, the Seven of Cups is the past coming through saying that you didn't know how to proceed on how to deal with this. You know, judgment in the star is saying that you'll get there. Ooh, shit. Your best path to follow the tower. <sighs> now, you know, and what I love about this deck is, you know, dudes burning the shit down, burning it down, right? It is about clearing out all the fake shit, the shit that does not serve your purpose. Having built on a false foundation and needing it to go bye bye now. You know, it's different when you see it as far as, you know, your best path to follow because it's saying that you have control over what is collapsing here. You know, this isn't some shocking event. You know, and again, with the Three of Swords being where it is, you know what this is about. So the tower being there, especially with judgment, you know, it makes me feel a little bit better about it. You know, but again, that's just me. Judgment is not a bad card. But definitely needing to clear some stuff out for sure before you can hit that rebirth and really start to feel the effects here of the star. Ooh, you, oh, that bastard. I'm telling you. Ugh. The Page of Swords for me, every time I see this card now, you know, here's the thing. The Page of Swords. Being a part of the sword suit is about conflict and strife. This is the messenger of conflict. If you're dealing with a person, it's like they're trying to create more conflict around a situation that should have been healed a long time ago. And that may be the problem here. So it's like, I, I feel like you're not being met halfway in this situation on healing and letting go. So basically it's going to be on your own. And that's kind of where the tower comes through. You know, it's sad because I think that some of you are trying to work with a person right now. Now, on the other hand, looking at the page of swords in your environment and the three of swords, you're going to hear something that you're not going to want to hear. And it's going to cause, you know, the heartbreaking feelings. Oh, man, I hate that damn page of swords. It's conflict. It's just situations surrounded by conflict and it's unnecessary. For me, looking at the page of swords, there is a question of whether or not this is the truth. I don't feel like that with the knight of swords. You know, and I don't care how many negative cards show up around it. It's still the truth. With the page, no, you have to question it. And it's no wonder why there wasn't any clarity on how to move forward in the past, you know. And I do think that this has to do with a person who's just creating more conflict for you than what you need to deal with. And it's almost like, you know, you need to just clear that stuff out and go through your own healing process here. Man, man, my goodness. Uh, uh, yep, yep, your hopes and your fears, the emperor. Now, for some of you, you're going to be talking about an Aries here. And then, you know, beyond that, you're talking about a person who is, you know, very stern and set in their ways. It's my way or the highway. But, you know, on the other hand, in terms of a hope and fear, you know, and I kind of felt like this with the emperor taking a leadership position here and getting control over what is going on, especially if you're dealing with an immature energy here with the page of swords. Now, if this is the same person, holy shit, they're horrible. You know, having somebody ruling with that iron fist, but then at the same time being a storyteller, ugh. You know, it's no wonder why the Three of Swords is sitting there. But I'm looking at this and seeing this as more hopeful energy for you, rather than continuing to deal with this. Now, on the other hand, I think that you're taking, you know, the higher ground here, so to speak, with the Emperor. As far as getting control over, you know, the nonsense and the chaos and, you know, moving forward into a spot that creates healing rather than being, you know, continuously caught up with the conflict surrounding it. It's craziness. Oh, and then the outcome. There you go. There you go. The Ace of Swords. So getting the truth. And 
you know, I, I, I do feel like for a lot of you, that emperor is really about you getting control of the situ, getting control over the situation, but then also getting the truth and clarity you need, you know, which is going to lead to some healing for you in that feeling of rebirth. But it's only going to be after you clear out the bullshit. You got to clear out the bullshit that does not serve you. And that page of swords does not serve you. Oh man, that card is frustrating to me. I understand the energy of the Five of Swords. I even understand the energy of the Devil. The Page of Swords bothers the shit out of me. You know, and as far as, you know, dealing with conflict in a situation, it's asking you to deal with things with truth, intelligence, and grace. And there is the truth right there. So, you know, no matter what you're dealing with, Cancer, by the end of the week, you're going to have the truth and the clarity that you need. But I do feel like for a lot of you, it's going to be because you're getting control over the situation. Or I feel like, you know, whoever you're dealing with is like not wanting to meet you halfway. You know, unfortunately, it's going to be up to you, right? Burn that shit down so you can move forward into that healing and get that truth and that clarity that you need. My goodness. You know, and it's funny because I'm looking at creator and for some of you, you know, you may be dealing with a child here and maybe conflicts surrounding a situation with a child, you know, the emperor is saying you need to get control over things, right? Oh my goodness. All right, Cancer, we're going to take a look at the soul trees to see what else is going on here. But I do feel good about that ace of swords coming out, especially with that damn page of swords possibilities, unique gifts, and abundance. Very nice, very nice, which is good to see out of a very difficult situation. So there are endless possibilities for you, especially when it comes to, you know, the creative nature and your unique gifts. And because of that, you're going to be looking at abundance. And for some of you, you know, it's not just abundance in terms of money, but spirituality as well, comfort and happiness. Abundance can mean several different things. But having abundance in your life is beautiful, but it's coming through your unique gifts. And the, the possibilities are endless. They're endless, especially when it comes to your creative nature. You know, it's almost like it's a totally separate thing here. Now, when it comes to, you know, whatever it is you're creating, whether you're an artist, a musician, a writer, right? Like, I can understand perfection, but again, you don't want to be too hard on yourself. Because whatever it is you're creating has a lot of value, you know, and again, you need gifts and abundance, right? Amazing. Amazing. All right, Cancer. So we're going to take a look at Whispers of Love to see what messages there are for you guys in terms of attracting love, you know, but I'm going back to that Ace of Swords and I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, especially with the way that it lines up between the Star Judgment and the Ace of Swords, it much better much, much better coming out than how you came into the situation. I'm going to take that one because it kept trying to slip out. Slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. I'm taking that one. You are limitless. Damn straight. Recognize this truth and you can do anything you choose to do. Perfect. Perfect. So slow down and realize that you are limitless. You know, what is happening external to you that is causing this heartbreak? I think that cancer, you're doing the right thing by taking the leadership position here with the emperor and getting control over the nonsense here with the page of swords connected to that damn seven of cups, especially with the three of swords being there. You're going to hit a major rebirth here, but you got to slow down. You got to slow down when it comes to this. The truth is there. It is there and it will come out, especially if you're dealing with somebody who, you know, is maybe not being very truthful, you know, and as far as that goes, like, you know, if you're dealing with a difficult situation, my mother always said that the truth will set you free, right? But the Ace of Swords coming out with the star is definitely where that healing is going to come in based on, you know, the truth being spoken here. So, yeah, you know, the truth will set you free. But again, you know, that tower, right? Like there's going to be some stuff that needs to be cleared out. So, you know, slow down, deal with that first. 
But, you know, again, you are limitless. Your unique gifts have, you know, endless possibilities to create abundance for you. It's beautiful. All right, Cancer. So I think, unfortunately, some of you may be dealing with, you know, an immature person. Looking at the Page of Swords being in your environment. Now, for some of you, you may be dealing with a heartbreaking situation involving a child, though, too. You know, because again, the messenger of conflict, the things that you don't want to hear. But, you know, what I'm looking at here is if you're dealing with conflict, it's been persistent between, you know, the Seven of Cups and the Three of Swords. This to me is saying that this has been a while. In the past, you didn't really know how to work through this because you're being met with, you know, conflict, right? So you're still dealing with it. But you get to a point here where there is going to be some healing and a rebirth for you, for sure. Now, as far as the tower, definitely, right? Like, it's, this shit's got to get cleared out. You know, having built on a false foundation, I don't feel like you're having to deal with some shocking event where you're going to be left in the rubble. You know, I feel like you, you are in control of this. You know what needs to happen here. You know what needs to be cleared out. And I do think that for some of you, you're taking that leadership position. But then it also goes back to creator asking you to be the parent and the mature being in this situation. Right? Now, in terms of the things that you're creating, though, on the other end, right? Like, it's okay to seek perfection. But, you know, you don't want to be too hard on yourself if you're not, like, meeting that with the things that you're creating. Now, on the other hand, when you're looking at perfection... Unfortunately, the higher standards that you're setting, there's going to be some people that are not meeting the same high standard. But you know what? That's okay because, again, with the emperor being here, I do feel like you're taking a leadership position on this and getting control over the chaos, right? But again, right? The truth will set you free. And if these cards don't say it, I don't know what the hell does. You know, you get truth and clarity and you get to do some healing out of the situation, which is really good. Now, in terms of soul trees, right, possibilities, your unique gifts have endless possibilities to create abundance for you. And again, it kind of goes back to, you know, creator and perfection. So whatever it is that you're creating is going to have a lot of importance, you know, and the abundance and the potential for abundance through those unique gifts is, you know, endless, right? The possibilities are endless. It's beautiful. Now, in terms of <laughs> whispers of love, slow down and you are limitless. Hell yeah, you are limitless. But you need to slow down, especially when you're dealing with situations like this where there needs to be a little bit of healing and a little bit more understanding. 